In this video, I'm going to teach you a couple different things. The first thing is I'm going to teach you how to get into the submount in three different ways. But this video isn't really about the submount. What we want to do is use the submount to show you how to get into a few different common mounts in the side mount so that you can put together your very first side style speed combo. Now the three mounts that we're going to show you how to connect to the submount, like I said, they're three of the most common mounts. First one is the one and a half mount. The second one is double or nothing. And then the third one is a variation on the kamikaze mount. It's a little bit different than the main kamikaze mount. But at the end of the video, I'm also going to give you a tip on how to transition from your speed combo into a regular kamikaze mount. And that way you can integrate your own speed combo in with other kamikaze mount tricks to build an even longer, bigger, better combo. So to get started, let's just talk about three ways to get into the submount. I'm going to start with the easier one and then move on to the more difficult but more impressive ways to get into it. Now the easiest way to get into the submount is to just start with a trapeze and all you're going to do is take your first finger on your yo-yo hand and insert it right in between these two strings and then just pull your hands apart. It's just as simple as that. Just take your finger, pull the strings apart, and this is the submount. This is the mount that we're going to use to talk about the rest of the tricks. And if you know the trapeze, this one shouldn't be too difficult to master. If you don't already know the trapeze, we've got an excellent video on that that you definitely want to check out. It also teaches you all the ins and outs of dealing with the yo-yo on the string. Um, so definitely check that video out, then you'll be pretty much ready to get into this video. Now the second way to get into it is similar to the first trick that we're going to show you how to transition into, and that is the one and a half mount. We also have a video that teaches you that mount. You may want to check that one out. It's going to help you learn the rest of these tricks easier. It's not strictly necessary because I'm going to give you everything you need in this video. Uh, but just like the one and a half mount, what you want to do is uh, throw a breakaway and then allow the yo-yo to pass over the first finger of your opposite hand, then the first finger of your yo-yo hand. Now typically with the one and a half mount, you're going to let the yo-yo hit this front string coming off the first finger of your yo-yo hand and then pass right over that into the one and a half mount. So what you're going to do instead is, again, instead of rolling over your finger right here, you're going to pull this hand back, your opposite hand back a little bit, let the yo-yo come in front of these strings here, and then you're going to extend your yo-yo finger under the yo-yo so that the yo-yo can land right on the string. And uh, once you get better at it, you can just do it all in one motion where you just let the yo-yo come up and then right back down onto the string and that is a perfectly fine way to get into the submount. Now, one other thing that will help you get into the submount this way is if you angle your fingers up, your first finger on each hand up as the yo-yo is passing in front. And what that'll do is it'll bring this top string back. And as long as you extend your yo-yo finger out, that'll give you as much room as possible to land the yo-yo right onto that string. Now once you've mastered this one, then you can transition into the third one, which is very similar, but a little bit more tricky, but also more flashy. And that just looks like this. And you can see that the main difference is that you're actually running the yo-yo into that top string and then dropping it down into the mount. If you see the submount in a lot of tricks, especially getting into tricks, this is the way that players tend to get into it. And uh, this is very similar to getting into the one and a half mount, except instead of allowing the yo-yo to go over your finger, what you want to do is as soon as the yo-yo hits that front string, the string coming off of the first finger on your yo-yo hand, what you want to do is bring your hands together. And that'll allow the yo-yo to go straight up and give you time to get the bottom string in position so the yo-yo can land into the submount. Now, uh, I already mentioned you do want to bring your hands together. But even if you do that, if you want to slow the trick down even a little bit more, if you bring both hands up just a little bit with the yo-yo, then that gives you even more time to kind of gather yourself, get control of the trick, slow things down a little bit, and get that bottom string into position. Now, all you need to do to get the bottom string into position is just extend your yo-yo finger forward. The strings will naturally align themselves. So the tough part is actually getting into the top string in a way that works uh, it's actually relatively easy to get it to fall down into the mount as long as you've extended that finger. As long as you don't have any forward and backward motion on the yo-yo and things are generally under control, you should find that that one kind of works itself out once you get the yo-yo to go up in a way that's, like I said, under control. So once you have uh, worked on each of these mounts, you can use any one to progress into the trick. 
So what I want to do now is I want to show you how to go from the sub mount into the three different mounts that I talked about. So the first one is the one and a half mount and that just looks like this. You're going to go from your sub mount right into a one and a half mount and then back. And all you're doing here is you're going to roll the yo-yo over the first finger of your yo-yo hand and you're going to hit this top string right here as you do it. And what I noticed as I started doing this is that the motion that you use to accomplish this is pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're just going to pull your hands apart quickly enough to get the yo-yo to hop up. And then as the yo-yo starts to arc around your finger, you just bring your hands right back together just like this. Now there's also a little bit of rotation that you'll see happening with the first finger on my yo-yo hand that kind of goes under the yo-yo. And so if you want to think about it that way, just kind of scooping under the yo-yo just like that, that works as well. And you might want to combine those motions a little bit as you work into it. And now uh, getting back into the sub mount isn't too hard. You're just going to extend your yo-yo finger out and then roll the yo-yo in the opposite direction over the first finger of your yo-yo hand. And as long as you have kept your strings in line by not pulling this hand too far forward or back, then the yo-yo should just fall right back into the sub mount and you're right back where you started. Now the second mount you want to get into from your sub mount is the double or nothing. And the way that this works, you want to basically keep your hands uh, together in equal distance apart. You can see that as I do the trick, my hands don't move from this position too much. And then uh, all you're going to do is take the yo-yo and you're going to roll it over the first finger of your opposite hand and you're going to land the yo-yo on this front string. It's the string connected directly to the yo-yo. As you do this, you want to bend in your yo-yo finger a little bit. And if you just roll it over this hand, make sure not to roll over both hands, but just roll the yo-yo over your opposite hand, the yo-yo will pretty naturally land onto that front string. Now in order to make sure that your aim is right, obviously you want to keep the yo-yo moving straight. Make sure that you don't push your opposite hand too far forward or too far back because that's what helps keep the string properly aligned. And uh, as long as you just go in between your hands, again keep your hands pretty evenly separated, you should be able to land right on that string. Now when you want to get back out, this one can be a little bit tricky because this string that you're going to land the yo-yo on, the string coming over the top of your opposite hand first finger, uh, it's not going to be perfectly lined up with the yo-yo. So you got to do a little bit of work to make sure the yo-yo can go onto that string. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to push your yo-yo hand forward a little bit. That'll help to align the strings a little. And then once that hand is pushed forward, you're just going to scoop under the yo-yo with your opposite hand. And that kind of helps line the strings up before your hand goes under the yo-yo and then gets right onto that string. And then again, you open your hands up you're right back into your sub mount. Now one thing that may be happening to you as you dismount from the double or nothing and get back into the sub mount is the yo-yo might bind on you at that point. The key to keeping this from happening is to make sure that you're bringing your hands together uh, just a little bit right after you get back into the sub mount. You bring your hands together, then you can open them back up and go into uh, whatever you're gonna do next. But as long as you keep your hands open, it probably it's not going to bind every time, but there's going to be a much greater chance for that to happen. So again, just make sure you bring your hands together just a little bit, and then if you need to open them up after that, you can and you'll be perfectly fine. So the third mount that you want to get into from the sub mount, like I said, is very similar to the kamikaze mount. And this one is probably the easiest one to get into. All you're going to do is bend your yo-yo finger in and then roll the yo-yo over the first finger of your uh, yo-yo hand. Remember when we rolled it into the one and a half mount, we rolled this way. What you're going to do is roll it the opposite way, and that gets you into the kamikaze mount. And like I said, this one is pretty straightforward. Uh, there isn't much to get wrong, especially if you've learned the other two. Obviously, you don't want to roll around both hands or cross your arms like this. All you're going to do, again, keep your hands evenly separated. Just roll it right over this first finger, land it onto the string you're into the kamikaze mount, and then to get back out, you just roll back out, and you are now into your sub mount. So once you are comfortable going from the sub mount into each of those three mounts, then you can start to put them together into combos. Now, when you start to build your first combo with the sub mount, uh, you can use whatever entrance to get into the sub mount you want, and I would recommend practicing each of them as you work on your combos. And all your uh, first speed combo is gonna look like is just putting 
these elements together in a different order. So you can go from the one and a half mount to double or nothing into the kamikaze mount and back out, and that's basically a unique combo. So what I would recommend as uh, you start to work on these tricks, you'll notice that certain elements pair together better in terms of flow than other elements. And basically what I mean is going from double or nothing into the sub mount and then into the one and a half mount and back, uh, there's kind of a disruptive flow. You can see like you got to come down and then roll the other way just like this. Uh, it works and actually when you get really good at it, there is kind of a nice movement to it, but at first that can be a little bit awkward. So what I found is that if you put the kamikaze mount in the middle of your combo, it pairs really, really well in terms of flow with both the one and a half mount and double or nothing. So let me show you what that looks like. So one way you can do this is start with your one and a half mount, and then when you roll into the sub mount, if you continue to yo the, roll the yo-yo the same way, it goes right into the kamikaze mount. So let me show you that again. You go one and a half, roll, roll right into the kamikaze mount. Now the same thing is true if you go from the kamikaze mount into the one and a half. So you can see that flow is really nice, it's really simple, and it works really well. Now what's interesting is the same thing is true with the kamikaze mount and double or nothing. So again, if you start uh, with your sub mount, go into double or nothing, then when you roll out, you're already rolling the right direction to get into the kamikaze mount. You roll out, you're rolling the right direction to get into your double or nothing, and you can see that those two pair together really well also. So if you want to put all three together, what I would recommend is either starting with double or nothing or the one and a half mount going to kamikaze and then going to the alternate mount. So one really easy way to do this, and probably the easiest, fastest uh, beginner speed combo you could do, is just to start with a trapeze, and then as you pull the strings apart, that naturally leads right into the one and a half mount. So go from trapeze, pull your hands apart into a one and a half mount, roll out, go into the kamikaze mount because that keeps your flow, roll out into the sub mount, roll into double or nothing because that keeps your flow, roll back into the submount, and then drop the strings, you're right back into the trapeze and you can get out of the trick. So again, if you wanna do that a little bit faster, you can see how the flow works just like that. Now, if you wanna take this combo and push it one step further, you can do the entire trick forward and then do it in reverse and everything pairs together really well because you're keeping that kamikaze mount after every single mount. And so. You're gonna open up, go one and a half, kamikaze, double or nothing, kamikaze, one and a half, back to your sub mount, and then your trapeze. And that's like a six, five, six, eight step combo. I have no idea. So um, you can just kind of work on that, get that faster and faster. And as you continue to progress, you'll see that the flow for that is really, really nice. And I would say that's a really good place to start for your first side style speed combo. And it's based on this really simple mount, the sub mount. Now, once you start to get into this a little bit, you may find that there's other things that you wanna do with it. So I'm gonna give you a few different ways to uh, look at these tricks to make them a little bit easier. And then, like I said, I'm gonna show you an, a good way to get into an actual kamikaze mount from these mounts. So uh, one thing that you may have already figured out or you may have noticed is that when you go from the sub mount to double or nothing, sometimes you might accidentally hit both strings, but that doesn't actually mess up your trick at all because you can just go right back into a sub mount, just like that. Now one thing that's cool about this is it actually sets you up for a really nice dismount if you land onto both strings and then drop this string off the first finger of your yo-yo hand, you're just into a double trapeze, you can just roll out and get right into your bind. So if you wanna go with the shorter version of the speed combo, your one and a half kamikaze, go into your double or nothing but land on both strings, and then you can just drop that string and go right into your uh, double trapeze and you're good to go with your dismount. Now the last thing that I wanted to show you was how do you transition from this speed combo into a proper kamikaze mount so that you can integrate it with other tricks. And uh, this can end up looking really cool but I'll show you the simplest way first. So if you go into a one and a half mount just like this, and then drop the string that's coming off of the first finger of your opposite hand 
then take that same opposite hand and you're going to push into this back string, the string that's uh, coming over your hand and connecting to your yo-yo finger, and then roll over that hand. Uh, so again, it's kind of like the way it is with double or nothing. You're just going to roll right over that finger. You can see now I'm back into a sub mount, except I've got the string coming over the thumb of my yo-yo hand. Now watch this. Uh, you can still do all your different sub mount tricks, even though that string is there. But when you go into the kamikaze mount, now this is a proper kamikaze mount with the string uh, going directly to your yo-yo finger from this mount, as opposed to the way the kamikaze mount typically works for the sub mount, where you can see it kind of wraps over the first finger of your opposite hand first. So again, you're just going to go into your one and a half, drop the string, push into this back string, roll over like you would for the double or nothing. This puts you into a different type of sub mount, and then you roll into the kamikaze mount, and now you're good to go. So again, if you want to integrate that with all of your different tricks, let's say you were doing the longer form of the speed combo, you could go one and a half, kamikaze mount, double or nothing, kamikaze mount, one and a half, then drop the string, roll over into uh, this different form of the sub mount, then get into a kamikaze mount, and then you can get into your other kamikaze tricks. So I think that this will give you a good foundation for understanding how speed combos work. And what's nice is that it's in a very simple mount, but you can see how a lot of what speed combos are is just going from mount to mount and then back and forth and just kind of weaving through things in a way that always keeps the yo-yo moving in a different pattern, um, but it's also repeated because you're going back and forth. So if you learn these, I would recommend trying to find your own way of getting through the mounts. I showed you the ones that I like the best, um, but there's a lot of different places to go. You can start to connect it with tricks you already know and that reveals the true power of the submount as you learn your first beginner side style speed combo.